Hey, wonderful people, we're back here again talking about everything Law of Attraction and Manifestation. And today's topic, the big one that you hear all the time, you have to believe it to achieve it. And I say, no. <laughs> because I've manifested so many things, so many huge things, without believing it. Huge things in my life. The, the, the biggest milestones, almost all the biggest milestones in my life, I didn't believe it. Because if it, the goal is big enough, you won't believe it because it's up there. It's in the stratosphere. You can't see it. You don't know if you're ever going to get there. And so I just went ahead with it anyway and hope that had faith that, you know, something would happen. Or if I, you know, if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't hit the stars, at least I hit the moon, right? Uh, yeah, so I just went for it like that, and I didn't believe it, and whoosh, got it, or got it, and hit the home run, and out of the park, because a lot of what you can do, your possibilities are so vast, you have no idea how great you can make things. And so we are, you often set goals that are out of our imagination, out of our ability to believe. I'm looking at the cat, he's the cat scratching. <laughs> uh, outside our ability to believe and, but our possibilities are beyond, beyond our ability to believe. So yeah. You may set goals. You may have things in the works that are unbelievable to you. And uh, honestly, too, a lot of things, a lot of goals, almost every goal I've ever had, nobody else ever believed. That's a whole nother topic. But, yeah, um, I wouldn't waste too much energy on your part trying and hoping to believe I have to keep up my belief. I have to believe it. I have to believe it. Uh, in my younger years, I did a lot of that because that's what everybody says you have to do. And no, you definitely do not have to do that because, hey man, the biggest things in my life, I didn't believe and I achieved. The key to that is have faith that something great is going to come out of it, whether you achieve it or not. Even if you fall flat on your face. I mean, making, starting businesses, for instance, is almost always, in the beginning, it's almost always guaranteed to fail. Sorry. <laughs> it's a learning curve. Hey, man, when, when you first play a sport, you could, like baseball, you come up to bat, and you think you're going to hit a out-of-the-park home run, and you just strike out. And, like, you're in a practice thing. It's not on a game or anything. And they're throwing the ball, and they're throwing the ball, and they're throwing the ball. And you can't even hit it. You're lucky if you tap it on the way into the catcher's glove. And uh, that's how it is. That's how everything is. You eventually get better as you go. But... You can have your beliefs crushed, and that's okay. Just keep going in the same direction. You don't have to believe it. You know how many times, what, one of the good things that you can do, when your beliefs are crushed, and you're like, this, because moods come and go, man. Your feelings come and go. Signs come and go. Like you'll say, oh, wow, that's not a good sign for me. That, that looks like it's not going to happen. Or you'll get up in the morning and say, I just don't feel like this is ever going to happen. Don't own that. Don't own that. If you have to, just do this thing where I'm like, I'm giving it up to God. I'm giving it up to my higher self. Let them deal with it. Yeah. Let them, let them protect me. They said they would, right? Jesus came down to earth and everything, and, and he lived a whole life here to, to protect you, to help you. That's, that's not the whole thing, but yes, basically. Um, so let them, let them help you. 
your higher self is supposed to be helping you. I'll let them. I can't, I don't feel it today. I, I feel like this is never going to happen. Just don't own that. Give it up to whatever you, higher power you feel can help you in that situation. Give it up to them. Say, you know, God didn't bring me this far to fail. Or if he did, there's a, a real good reason why that's going to help me on to something else. And I have made businesses that have terribly failed. Crashed and burned like the Hindenburg baby. <laughs> but it did turn out to be a favorable thing in the end. I learned a lot. I gained a lot. Um, yeah. So it, it's like cats, dogs, pets, right? We bring them to the vet. Or, hey, I had a dog where I had to give an insulin shot every day. I had to stick the dog with a needle every day. The dog didn't, and you can't tell them, hey, I'm doing this for your own good, blah, blah, blah. They just have to trust. They have faith in you that you're doing the right thing, that their life and their universe is going to work out for them. And that's what you have to do. You won't know why you're getting your behind handed to you on a silver platter <laughs> with some of the things you do. But you have to trust, it's like these little guys, that everything is working out in your best favor. And it is. You might not notice it, but it is. Now, you might manifest it down. I have a whole thing about that, too. If you're negative, you'll manifest down. So what you'll do is you'll manifest like a lot of money, and then you'll lose it. You'll manifest a great job, and then everybody will magically gang up on you and kick you out, or something like that will happen. You'll manifest great things that will collapse. That is a whole other topic of manifestation. And that's a, that's a thing that I used to do, right? That is, <laughs> and I think a lot of people do that too. But that that is, um, that's just changing your beliefs. So, um, yeah, if you are in a rut and you don't feel like it's, it's really, it, like you can believe it. So, uh, and that's the thing too. A lot of people say that, you should choose goals that you believe in. And I say, choose goals. And I've seen this work for me a, a million times. Choose goals that are a little difficult to believe in. If you believe in your goal all the time, it's probably too easy. It's probably too close. Because we don't know all the possibilities that we have available to us. And usually it's far greater, far, far, far greater than anything we can imagine. Like these little guys, right? Um, like I have uh, a treat for the cat tomorrow. The cat can't even imagine that. Cat can't even imagine hardly tomorrow, right? <laughs> cat is limited. We are limited too. But we have the ability to... Um, mentally arrange our thoughts to deal with that, to cope with that. And so do they, right? They cope with it quite well. And I think we're learning that too. In a shaky, roundabout way. <laughs> Don't look at history, people. Don't look at history. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, don't fret if you can't believe it. Um, if you don't believe it all the time, if you're getting up 50% of the time in the morning or you feel distracted uh, uh, um, or you just don't feel it's happening, you don't have the motivation for it. That's a whole other topic in itself too, but it's okay. Just keep going forward. Leave the door open. Kick it up to a higher power. Let them deal with whatever whatever it is. You don't have enough money. You don't have enough time. You don't have enough health. Kick it up to the higher power. Let's say, I can't deal with that aspect of this right now. I'm going to kick it up to the higher power because I'm not feeling it today. Okay. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen. I'm just not feeling it today. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to do the best I can today. And that's really what you need to do. That's all you need to do. So don't beat yourself up about it. 
Um, you don't need to believe it to achieve it. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be where I am in life if I had, if I had the need to believe to achieve. It does help. It makes things easier. Uh, but it's not necessary. The lack of resistance, that's necessary. And that's what we can talk about next time.